On behalf of the trustees, faculty, staff, and students of Mercer University, it's my privilege to welcome you to the 2012 commencement of the Mercer University School of Medicine. This has been an exciting year for the medical school. The School of Medicine, I am proud to say, has had an excellent year as it maintained its mission and national reputation. The class of 2012 is the 27th class of physicians to graduate from the School of Medicine. Most importantly, of the almost 800 Mercer graduates out of residency training and currently in practice, 64% practice in Georgia and 77% of those in primary care. Of these, 85% are providing care in medically underserved areas. They're truly serving Georgia. You, know, you can't realize how humbling it is to know that you all took the day off, came from all over Georgia and beyond just to hear me speak. I'm Okay, I understand. I know why you're here. I know I'm standing in the way of it. But you were kind enough to give me some time, and so I'm gonna take a few minutes that really end with a request of you. Now for the medical students here, I think you had a, a white coat ceremony at the Opera House. And if you're really honest, that coat felt very strange. It was almost like it didn't fit. Uh, in the worst case, it made you feel like a bit of an imposter, standing there dressed like a doctor, but far from being one. But then these experiences occurred over the months and over the years that actually made the coat fit and made it feel very, very real. You know, it goes beyond getting an insurance card, though. An insurance card never treated anybody. It's the system, and it's the providers in the system that treat people. So th there are a lot of people here, like me, who are privileged to have very good health insurance. But the fact is, many of us still don't have a system that supports our whole care. There's a phrase all of you have learned, the medical home, right? The notion that everybody should have a place where a team understands them, knows their history, knows their hopes, desires, wants, and sticks with them through thick and thin. Most Americans, I would argue, are medically homeless. We may have some specialists, but we don't have that place, that base for our health. So here's the request. You should bask in the glory of today. It is wonderful. No question about it. I also know that virtually every one of you will forget that I spoke to you today. But I hope you'll do a couple things. I hope you'll hang on to those memories, especially the ones that relate to the gifts, the gifts patients have given you, the gifts the people standing here have given you to make you the professional you are. And I hope you'll find the courage to join with my generation, take on our shared ethical obligation, and finally create a healthcare system that actually works for all of us. So let's make a promise to each other today that we're not going to lose that sense of doing something really good that made us choose this career in the first place. You've honored me by letting me join you on such a special day. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Leonard Toe Humanism and Medicine Award is fitting for Caitlin, who has repeatedly demonstrated compassion and respect for others. Caitlin Elizabeth Collier, you have demonstrated the highest standard of academic achievement, as well as an uncommon dedication and sensitivity to your patients. It is my privilege to hereby present to you the Student Humanism in Medicine Award. Congratulations. The Leonard Toe Humanism in Medicine Award is fitting for Dr. Katner who has committed both service and time in the medical profession. Dr. Harold Katner, 
caring educator and physician, it is my privilege to present to you the Faculty Humanism in Medicine Award. Congratulations. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of the Master of Family Therapy program, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Mercer University, it is my honor and privilege to hereby confer upon each of you the degree Master of Family Therapy. Congratulations. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of the Master of Public Health program, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Mercer University, it is my honor and privilege to hereby confer upon each of you the degree Master of Public Health. Congratulations. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of the School of Medicine, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my honor and privilege to hereby confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Medicine. Congratulations. Dana Ann Christian. Valerie Latrice Corbin. Veranda Shakira Lynn Ford. Melindy T. Ruth Gaines. Dr. John Casey Spivey. Dr. Cherie Nichelle Stokes. Family, friends, and staff, please join me in celebrating and congratulating these graduates for their great accomplishments.